A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions. Well, except one. Deal or no deal? Welcome to Deal or No Deal. And I am still recovering from the drama of yesterday. In fact, excuse me, I think I need to sit down. What a game yesterday. Sarah had the perfect game. Every single box opened in the correct order. She got all the way to the end with just the £100,000 box and the quarter of a million pound box remaining. The perfect dream scenario. Nah. Unfortunately, she had dealt earlier for £31,000. She actually missed the opportunity to win the quarter of a million. She still got £31,000 and she was very happy. But it does prove, guys, it's there for the taking. And I wonder if it's going to go today. You can follow the game on the game board. We've got 22 different sums of money from 1p all the way through to a quarter of a million pounds. And that money is out there somewhere in 22 identical boxes. Who's going to have the courage to go all the way? Let's find out the identity of today's player. Deal or no deal for Tina. <laughs> Tina, it's your big moment. Come on up to the table. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Very good to see you. Do please sit down. Thank you. It's very kind. One only walks that slowly oh. if one is very confident or terrified. I'm both. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> In equal measure. Mm. Tina Forster Hill from Derbyshire. Uh, recently got a master's in journalism. I've not got it. I'm doing it at the moment. Oh, you're doing it? Mm. And how's it going? It's very hard. It's very hard. Why did you choose that? It's sort of if you don't visit the things you want to do in life, they come back to haunt you. And uh, this is one of the things. So I just want to pass. That's what I want to do. I just want to pass. And you said on your CV that it was fate how you met your fiance. Mm, definitely, yeah. Tell me about it. Um, I used to be an air stewardess and uh, I'd had a dreadful year. And the, the highlight of that year really was uh, a Christmas do. I got my little black dress hanging on the door and um, four days before I should have gone, they swapped me to go away. So I would totally miss the do. And, and then just at the last minute, um, they swapped it back, so I went. And with going to that do, uh, the chap who is now my fiancé, Steve, um, was there. But he's, he's a beautiful person. It's just amazing. And we paths wouldn't have crossed. And why did that happen? Why did that happen? I don't know. And the little black dress worked its magic. It did, it did. <laughs> I can't fit in it now, Mark, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome years ago. OK, I hope today is going to be magical for you. I need you to confirm, please, Tina, that you chose this box at random before the show started. I did indeed, yes. The independent adjudicator, as with all of the boxes, sealed it. He is the only person who knows how much money there is there. I don't know, you don't know, nobody knows. The banker doesn't know. He wants you to go away with the smallest amount of money. Mm. I'm on your side. I want to keep you very focused and ensure you go away with a huge amount of money. I'm expecting a bumpy ride, that's what I'm expecting, because I'm not a lucky person in this respect, but it's a game. It's a game. The former air stewardess is expecting a bumpy ride. Mm. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Mm. Cabin crew, doors to manual, let's start. Five boxes and then the banker calls. Good luck. Thank you. Mm. I think I'll have number two, please. Tina, I hope it's a good start for you. Make it a very, very good start. Open box two. 
One P. Yeah. We're off again. I like you. I like you. So, after a number of shows where people really had bad luck, we're now going to have some great shows where we just... One P, ten P next, fifty P a pound. Tina, your second box. That would be nice. Angela, number nine, please. Number nine, Angela. Very simple. Low, blue, open it now. No, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. It's not the end of the world. But you have to adjust your expectations. Just make sure you don't take out the hundred before we get to the bank. I think uh, Irene, please, number 16. Irene? Yes. Please, we would like it to be low. We do not want to see any more of the large numbers going in round one. Thank you, Irene. Fingers crossed. Ten pounds. Very good. Great. Now we know mm -hmm. ten quid is not in your box. No. Max, please. I think number seven. Max! Got any feeling there? No, oh, I don't have feelings and vibes about boxes. Excellent. What's in it's in it? Mm. Well, just make it low. Thank you, Max. Three thousand. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Happy. more confidence. Remember, he's watching every move. It's a game. It's a game? It's your game this afternoon. So I've just got one more, have I? And you need to get into the controlling position. You have one more before we hear from the banker. I think Audrey. Audrey? I hope, I hope yes, I think Audrey number 10. I'm hoping she's lucky for me. Audrey, we want you to be lucky for Tina. Please avoid the 100,000 or the 75,000, and we'll be very grateful. Lovely. Yeah. Absolutely spitting. <laughs> That's what we require. Great. Really, really good. If you hadn't touched the quarter of a million, mm. I think that would have fitted into the category marked perfect. Mm. Very good opening. Are you worried about the quarter of a million? Not at all. No. You know, it is a game. You're going to take it out at some point. You have to. OK, so we've got that out of the way. Yes. OK. And you can look at it from the point of view that in the gameplay, you've now got a huge number of options on the left-hand side. Mm. So we're feeling comfortable. Yes. It's nicely poised, mm. nicely balanced. It'll probably come down to whether or not the banker feels that he can intimidate you right at the beginning. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Good afternoon. No, I... Oh, no, I don't think so. It, OK. Hang on a sec. He's getting into some issue about the fact that you've continually said that you're not a lucky person. Mm. He's feeding on that. <laughs> the offer? For that box now is 1,200 pounds. That's low. I expect it to be low. Why did you expect it to be low? We all look at each other and we all try to think, you know, how we are, don't we? And he'll be doing that to me. But he'll, he'll either be right or he won't. And I think, you know, I think he's um, made the wrong choice about me, I'm sure. I think that. £1,200. Deal or no deal? No deal. I think this could be very interesting. The thing I love about this show, there are some constants in this show, the number of boxes, the number of players, different sums of money, but every single player we've had has been different. Mm. And the banker is looking at you, and I think he's going to have to think long and hard about you. Mm. I think so. so you now have a big opportunity to take the initiative. Where are you going? I think uh, Marianne. 13, Marianne? Please. 
Mary Ann, would you open box 13 and would you please keep it remarkably low? Of course I will. Thank you. 100,000. It's a game, it doesn't matter. It's a game. The expectation changes. Your second box. I think Jason, hopefully. You've been good to me, Jason. You need to be good to me now. Thanks, Willie. <laughs> you deserve a bit of luck after that. I do, don't I? But there we go. I said it was going to be a bumpy ride. And Jason, I I'm very unsettled by the number of lady players who thank you <laughs> for the support that you've given in recent weeks. <laughs> I'm a happily married man, though. He is. He is, yeah. Jason, open box number one. Yes. Five hundred. This box will tell us whether you have reached a turning point in terms of luck. What's it to be? I think uh, Simon, number 12, please. Why are you staring at me? Do you, uh, do you know what I'm thinking? I think you're going to ask me to open the box. Are you sure? Look into my eyes. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say to you now? We're going to break. Thank you. <laughs> this is Tina's day, and Tina knows this is the best chance she's probably ever going to have in her life to win a huge sum of money. And her composure at this point is awesome. I don't know what the mask is concealing, but I do know we will not get a meaningful offer from the banker, unless, Simon, this box is low. We've lost big numbers. This must be low. Simon, would you please open box number 12? Good luck. Thank you. 250. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> I'm trying to read you, and I'm not mm. getting anywhere. No. Good. <laughs> don't know why. I suddenly thought to myself, if you win a huge amount of money, I think you're the kind of person that might tear their clothes off and run round around the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you're happily married. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It is interesting, isn't it? I'm glad you've spotted that. Well done, brains. Mm-hmm. OK. He tried you with a low offer. He says now, bearing in mind what's happened on the board, he's now trying you with a high offer. £4,000. What do we think, guys? What do you think, Lee? Do you think that's quite good? It's a decent offer, considering that the big two have gone. Yeah. Yeah. The emergency exits are here and here. Mm. £4,000, deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. No deal. Straightforward. Almost hurt. No deal. That's the way to do it. Three to go. Let me chat to him again. Where would you like? 22 is interesting, maybe. Lee? Has to be low. Mustn't be seventy-five thousand or fifty thousand. Open box twenty-two. Thirty-five thousand. Okay, next one. I would suggest, mm. if you don't mind, not fifty thousand or seventy-five thousand, mm. and you do need to leave the twenty thousand there. That's your safety net. Well, I didn't want to go home with one P, so that's not there, and that's, that's all I was bothered about, really. And I did say it was going to be a bumpy ride, because that's my life. But, um, I think... Let's have a look. I think number eight. Rob, please. Rob? Be an absolute brick, Rob, and just, um, 
slip in a low one, if you would, please. Always ready to oblige. <coughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good luck. £50,000. Again. It's all right. It's a game. So we are having some big ups and downs here. But that's what makes it interesting, isn't it? it yeah. You could still have 75,000 in that box. This is far from over, far from depressing. It's just a question of rearranging our expectations. Mm. You have one more before the call. I think Elaine's a lucky lady. And I'd like to have Elaine, please, number 20. Elaine? This must be like. 75,000 is now totally exposed. Mm -hmm. Open number 20, please, Elaine. Good luck. 15,000. Three massive reds in one round. 4,000 was the last offer. Won't be that now, will it? I think you made your decision the moment I said 4,000. Is that right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. I think you know, don't you? You know. Mm. Everybody will have that dilemma to decide for themselves. I, you know, it's how it pans out. It's how it plays. Are you going to play it all the way, regardless? Mm -hmm. Fascinating prospect. Hello. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Good eyebrow work. <laughs> 2,000. Mm. 2,000 pounds. It's halved the last offer. It's no surprise. It's the way it goes. We've had some very steely, determined ladies on this show. Mm. And in some respects, they are more frightening than the guy who sits there with the bravado of an Andy and says, right, I'm going to take this on and this, that and the other. Because I don't know what's going on in that head <laughs> and I can't read you. And we've done enough shows now that I'm starting to learn a lot about human nature mm. and the telltale signs of whether somebody is nervous and you just appear to be cool as a cucumber. If, if he thinks you will go all the way with this board regardless, he has to improve the offers. £2,000, deal or no deal? No deal. No. Yes. OK. The odds are stacked in your favour that you will avoid that because you have so many other options. Past form and the luck you've had so far would suggest the next box you open will be the 75,000. Mm. I hope I'm wrong. Prove me wrong. I think Louise, please, number four. Hi, Louise, welcome. Big responsibility. You've seen the way in which the game has been going. Yeah. I don't know why I've got a bad vibe about this round. I think if you can get through this round strongly, I think the game could change. Would you please open box number four, Louise? And it is Fasten vital. your seatbelt. It is no, not £75,000. <laughs> yeah. Five. Do you remember, do you remember, Tina, the number of games you've seen turn around when people put pace into it? Mm. Do you want to keep going at this fairly lethargic rate? It's your show, so it's your call. Shall we speed it up? Yeah. No, you don't have to. If you're not mm. comfortable, don't. Let's go with Chris 14, please. No point in me trying to speed it up. She's going to do it at the pace she wants. Chris, would you mind opening box 14, please? No problem. Good luck. Thank you. Make it blue and low. I'll try. Thank you. And you did. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection so 
so far. One more, and you are in a much more comfortable place. I think, uh, Jeff, please, number five. Jeff, number five. Please. This is an absolutely critical box. The seal is still on there. You can change your mind. No. No? No, it's a game. And it depends when I open them and where I open them. And that's it. That's, that's it. That's what I knew it was. So, okay. yes, I like Jeff. Number five, please. OK. Your selection has been delayed. And we will learn your fate after the break. She believes that it is replicating the ups and downs of her own life. So far, the mask has yet to slip. There is a composure which is quite disarming. The banker must be fascinated. If this is the big one, 75,000, your reaction is going to be very interesting. Jeff? Yes, Lord. Will you please open the box? Good luck, Tina. Thank you, Jeff. Let's hope it's blue. We'll see. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. 100 pounds. Three great boxes at a critical time, and the best we got from you was a nod. <laughs> he might think you're out. <laughs> Hello. Tell her yourself. Tina, mm -hmm. he'd like to speak to you. Oh, right. Does he know I'm on a show? Hello? Hello? Oh, really? That's. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, there we are. He's got a nice voice, isn't he? Very interesting. Very interesting. I like his voice, too. OK. You got him up to 4,000. Because of the way the game went, it dropped back to 2,000. He's adding them together. The offer is 6,000. Bumpy ride. Six thousand is real money. Pop it on the board, see where it sits. See where it would sit in three boxes time. If you take out 75, 20 and 10, it will evaporate, it won't be there. Do you wish to discuss this with any of the other players? No, I don't think so, thank you. No? Tina. Six thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. All the way. Next three. I think Joe, please. Number three. Joe, open the box. 75,000. <laughs> the one box we didn't want to see. Your best bet is that your box, box, Six contains twenty thousand pounds. 
Next box. Kai, I think. 19, please. Kai, surely Tina deserves more. This mustn't be 20,000, Kai. Open box 19. Yeah! 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 Right. This, this would be astonishingly cruel if you hit the 20 now. The odds are in your favour. This has to be a low box. Well, not really, because it's life, isn't it? We haven't seen it, have we? And this is what will happen. I said it would be a bumpy ride, and I was right. I think Michael, please, 18. Michael? Please. Yes, sir. Crucial. Banker's call. Mustn't be £20,000, Michael. Would you kindly open box 18 and make it one of the lower numbers? Good luck, Tina. It's the 20,000. Un relenting misfortune. I said I knew it would be a bumpy ride. I'm, I'm right. Wow, well, you all look really sad. Oh, there's a thing. Hello. Thank you. He could scarcely contain his delight. Hmm. And he is offering you for that box now, £1,700. Mm. And let's keep it now within the new parameters. £1,700 is a very nice sum of money if you don't have £1,700. £1,700, team. Deal or no deal? No deal. Go on. Let's, let's get something really good out of this. You've chosen to go on. Let's try and get you the £10,000. You've got three boxes. And believe me, please, please, don't go away with 50p. Well, there's a chance I'll do that. No, no, no. Don't do it. First box. Can I ask the audience? Ask anybody you want. Yes, actually, I was just thinking about. I was think. I was thinking about seventeen. Let's go for seventeen. 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 We're comfortable with seventeen. So the majority decision is you will avoid the ten thousand if you open the box in front of Nick. Prepare yourselves for mass guilt. Nick, open box 17, and it mustn't be £10,000. Luck. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are you continuing with uh, the majority decision from the audience? Yes, or... I might ask them again. Thank you. Yeah? Yes. Do it again? Yes. Do you want a particular section? Do you want to ask everybody here That's to come to an agreement? Who do you think? 21, do you? 21, 21. That seems 21. 21, 21. Yes. 15. <laughs> Voice for 15. All we've got to do is avoid the 10,000. So far, more people want you to do 21, Tina, and a gentleman at the back fancies 15. Oh, let's go for it. I was thinking of 21 anyway. Let's go yes, for comfortable with 21. <laughs> 21. Helen? Supported by the audience, the decision is box 21, and it mustn't contain 10,000 pounds. Please open it now. Yeah! <laughs> Supported by the people behind you. Thank you, by the way. Sorry, thank you. The last two boxes, you have benefited from the community mm. decision. Oh, yes, yes. Thank and you. And they are still here, and they appear to be concentrating. And we can find out <laughs> if there is a consensus. Mm. Shall we do that? Yes, thank you. Third time lucky. Let's, let's okay. see how that works. A number, please. 15. 15. 15. Oh, really? 15. 15. Loud shouts for 15. We would appear to be pretty enthusiastic about box 15. Your call. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, let's go for it. 
Yeah? Fifteen. Andy, do it. Oh! oh yes! That's OK. <laughs> That's what I said would happen, and it has. So, there we go. What the banker has to consider, in this box, there is only one of two sums of money. 50p or 5,000 pounds. And it'll be probably about... a little widdly offer, I'm sure. <laughs> Hi. But we're back in familiar territory again. The offer for this box now Two thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds. You could be on the verge of selling a fifty P box. It's my life. Or two thousand pounds. <laughs> you could be on the verge of giving away. 3,000. Hmm. <laughs> I think I might ask my friends, just the last, as soon as it's the last little game. I think, yeah. If I may, please, then. Yeah. Elaine. I don't want to see you go home with 50p. <laughs> Deal. Tina, so, you, know, you know what it feels like when you see somebody lose and just walk home with 50p? It's, it's crushing. Mm. 2,000 is a good deal. Joe. I'd take the deal, Tina. I can't bear to see you take 50p either. Kai. Deal. Simon. You deserve so much more than this. Deal. Take it. Nick. Yeah, don't take don't take home 50 pay Tina. Audrey. You've had an unlucky game. Take 2,000 home. Take the 2,000. Karen. I think it's game over. Deal. I think of your hamsters. You're in it to gamble. Go for it. No deal. Can't wait for her to be at the table. <laughs> £2,000, Tina. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. It's life now. It's life. It's life. And she keeps saying, mm. that's life, that's life. Hello. You know what he said? Mm, swap the box. You have the chance to win £5,000 or throw away £5,000. Do you wish to swap, Tina? No. I don't well, think I do. Well. <laughs> Could I open it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. And I think... Please open your box, Tina, and show that there is £5,000 in there and not 50p. I don't think it will be. There we go. Close to the chest. She played it all the way, her way. And that is often the way to beat the banker. Deal or no deal? That's the question tomorrow. And I think you're going to be there. Bye bye. <laughs>